Good morning, Yellow Group. This is the story of the three bears. This is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. Once upon a time, there were three bears. They lived in a house in the woods. That's her house. One of the three bears was Papa Bear. One of the bears was Mama Bear. And one of the bears was Baby Bear. Each of them had their own forage bowl. Papa Bear had a great big bowl. Mama Bear had a medium-sized bowl. And Baby Bear had a wee little bowl. Each of them had a chair to sit on. Papa Bear had a great big chair. Mama Bear had a medium-sized chair. And Baby Bear had a wee little chair. Each of the bears had a bed to sleep in, too. Papa Bear had a great big bed. Mama Bear had a medium-sized bed. And Baby Bear had a wee little bed. One morning, the bears cooked some forage for their breakfast. While it was cooling, they went out into the woods in search of sweet honey. After they left, a little girl named Goldilocks came by their house. She knocked on the door, and no one answered. So she went right in. Goldilocks was rather hungry, so she decided to eat some of the porridge. It smelled so good. First, she tasted the porridge in Papa Bear's great big blue bowl. But it was too hot. Then she tasted the porridge in Mama Bear's medium-sized bowl. Oh, but it was also too hot. Then she tasted the porridge in Baby Bear's wee little bowl, and it was just right. So she ate it all up. Oh, no. I wonder if Baby Bear will like that. <clears throat> Goldilocks felt tired, so she decided to sit down in Papa Bear's great big chair. But it was too hard. Then she sat down on Mama their medium-sized chair. But it was too soft. Then she sat down in Baby Bear's small chair and it was just right. But then it broke. Oh no! I don't think Baby Bear will be happy about that. Then Goldilocks went upstairs to the three bears' bedroom. First, she lay down in Papa Bear's great big bed, but it was too hard. Then she lay down on Mama Bear's medium-sized bed, and it was too soft. Then she lay down on Baby Bear's small bed, and it was just right. She pulled the covers over her head and went right to sleep. Soon after, the three bears came home. The three bears came home. They noticed something was wrong. Somebody has been eating my porridge, said Papa Bear in a great big voice. Somebody has been eating my porridge, said Mama Bear in her medium-sized voice. 
somebody's getting my porridge, and I've eaten it all up, cried Baby Bear in her little voice, in his little voice. The three bears knew somebody was in their house. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear in his great big voice. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, Mama Bear said in her middle-sized voice. And somebody's been sitting in my chair and it has broken it, cried Baby Bear in his wee little voice. He's so sad. The three bears hurried upstairs. One, two, three. To their bedroom. Somebody has been lying in my bed, said Papa Bear. Someone has been lying in my bed, said Mama Bear. Somebody's been lying in my bed, and there she is. Goldilocks woke up. When she saw the three bears, she jumped out of bed, raced down the stairs, and out the front door. There she goes. Goldilocks ran as fast as she could through the woods. The three bears called for her to come back. The Goldilocks ran and ran, and the three bears never saw her again. Bye, Yellow Group.